You want it to be something that's really special for the players and coaches. This team won the World Championship. How do we celebrate that? It's a validation of their hard work and everything they put in to come together and achieve something uh, great. You really want to celebrate this team. This team is different than any other team that has ever played for the Chiefs, and it will be different than any other team that plays going forward. It'll be a reminder for them for the rest of their life about the special group of men that they were able to work with to achieve something really special. And for us, obviously, we want to tell this story of not only this season, but we want to tell the story of Chiefs history. So it's a customized piece that's really unique, but it also has elements of personalization that have never been done before. I had several of them mention to me, wow, you guys have done an amazing job of keeping the design secret, which I said, yes, we have, and that's been very intentional. It's a monster ring. We thought the one from Super Bowl 54 was big, and it was big, but this one has 16 carats of stone weight in it, which is 60% more than the one from three years ago. The ultimate goal is for when those players open that ring box, they go, wow. That encapsulates the entire year that I put blood, sweat, and tears into and just makes them have the emotion that they were in that Super Bowl and won that Super Bowl again. proud to be the champions of pro football and the people of Kansas City this trophy really belongs to them too as well as the organization because the team is Kansas City. Well the Chiefs victory in Super Bowl 4 was so important to my dad and everybody else who'd been associated with the American Football League because it was really validation for the AFL which was on its way to becoming the AFC. That was the last game that was played before the merger was complete and it evened the score in the Super Bowls to two for the NFC and two for the AFC, something that my father was really proud of. 65 toss power trap. That might pop wide open, Rats. Running play coming to Garrett on a trap. Touchdown! Garrett scores. has ended, the year of the Chiefs has begun. Well, 54 was the first one for us, obviously, since four. And the Chiefs kingdom has firmly planted its flag on top of football's highest summit. After five decades, we had finally gotten back to the top of the mountain. One of the more impactful moments of that whole season was for us as an organization, for this team, to be the team that actually handed the Hunt family the Lamar Hunt trophy. Today, the team that Lamar Hunt founded has just won Lamar Hunt's trophy in the stadium that was Lamar Hunt's dream. And to be able to do that at Arrowhead in front of our fans was something I'll never forget because it meant so much to us and it means so much to the family. And for our fans to be there to celebrate, it was really, really special. It was certainly a hard journey, but I think the fact that it took so long and was so challenging made it even more special. Everything has to go your way in a year when you win a Super Bowl. Everything. Every bounce. It's picked up by Kansas City! Touchdown! Every injury. And he's hurt. Mahomes is hurt. He rolled it. Every draft pick who was supposed to perform has to perform. Every free agent that nobody thought was going to perform has to perform. And they all have to come together in that year. It's 
it's another reminder that it's so hard to get back. Just to get in the position, to have the opportunity. The Cincinnati Bengals have won the AFC Championship. In Those years, we were really, really close to getting it done again. We thought we had the talent to get it done, but it just shows you how challenging it is. This Buccaneer team has been in control of this game for the most part throughout the entire evening, really in all three phases. But the Buccaneers can now celebrate. They're going to win their first Super Bowl championship since 2002. Which in a lot of ways made Super Bowl 57 even sweeter. They're going to throw a quick pass to Tony. He's got it on the edge. He will walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Tony. We need our ring size, baby. <laughs> so 57 was interesting, right? Because 54, it was on the list Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday after the game. It was like, oh, we got we to gotta get going on a ring. And the Kansas City Chiefs have won Super Bowl 57. It almost has to start right away. 57, it was on the bus ride from the field back to the hotel saying, okay, let's get going on our ring. Please welcome the chairman and CEO of the Kansas City Chiefs, Clark Hunt, with your third Lombardi Trophy! You're on a clock trying to get the rings designed and then produced. I'm down in Kansas City. You're a world champion. The good news on that is we had some experience recently. How do you open this thing up right here? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Open it? Oh, no. This really about a 15 to 20 day period where we're showing them as many ideas as we can to really bring the ring to life. Bring me! Bring me! Yeah! Let's go, please! I always forget to wear it. This is a very appropriate night. Yeah, by, the way, yeah. by the way, the new ones are on. Yeah, such it, a it cool may... wrangle to it. How it does the class with the chambers. Yeah, yeah. Such a cool wrangle. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on the, the the hand the entire time. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's a cool wrangle. It, it, well, it only fits somebody's hand like yours. It ain't going on here. I can tell you that. <laughs> In talking to the guys, there's a lot of excitement about the ring reveal. And so I can't wait to see their faces. I think you're going to hear a whole lot of, wow, I can't believe how beautiful it is. You do fashion, I do fashion. So we have to do something together. Let's do it. <laughs> Super Bowl champion, yep. Nick Bolton. How's that sound right now as it's really becoming official with the ring? Yeah, man, it's been crazy, man. It's been a crazy offseason, man. How do you emotionally and physically get ready for this type of party? I mean, I went to Texas Tech, so that, that's all the preparing that I needed. Do you ring finger? What do you have a size for? Um, I got it from my, my ring finger on the other side of my ring. Also, got the last one. hurrah for the, the old Super Bowl. You got to put it in the past after this, and you're moving on. Better. Outside. Yeah. Oh, that boy is good. You already know, bro. Yes, sir, bro. You ready to get that? Good. I'm on. I need it. I need it. Oh, good. Good. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, following Super Bowl 54, unfortunately, the pandemic made it tough to do a lot of things, including to have a proper ring ceremony. This year, we get the chance to do it right, to really have a party that I think everybody who attends will remember for the rest of their life. And I'm really looking forward to it. Now, I know you're wondering when we're gonna to get to the main attraction. So let's do it. We were told we needed to make it iced out. <laughs> so I had to Google what that means and then translate it. And I learned that it meant we needed a lot of diamonds. So that's what we did. Damn! Whether you wear it on a chain or you wear it on your finger, I hope you 
think about your teammates and you think about the people who made it all possible. So together, let the countdown begin. Say 10, five, four, three, two, one. If I had to put it into one word, I would say excellence. It's validation for their talent, their hard work, what they did when they came together to achieve something great. I like to focus on the second reaction. When they start looking at it, when they start understanding all of the unique aspects of it, that's the part I'll be watching pretty closely. Oh, we don't want crazy. God, no, let me look at the detail on it though. Let me check the detail out. Hold on. Ooh, he's a pull up like that. Oh, we going crazy. Yeah! Yes, there is nothing like seeing the emotion that comes out of a room. When you actually put your ring on your finger, uh, it's a whole nother level of emotion, in my opinion. We talked a lot about what the overall design of the ring uh, should be. The idea of a top that comes off or a top that opens has been done. What we wanted to do was take the concept of that and make it unique. We really hit on the right design for this year because it was the 50th year of GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium. And this year's ring, in multiple ways, pays homage to Arrowhead and how important it has been to this organization for the past five decades. We always say, artwork, I can make artwork do anything, but the true magic to this is when you make it in gold and diamonds and rubies and put it on your finger. And we incorporated some things that were pretty unique into this ring. The opportunity to open the ring up, we really focused on how do we make it unique to that individual. We also wanted to make sure that we didn't make it too individualized. This is a team sport. This is a family. This organization, we talk a lot about how every single person matters when you open the ring. The number of trophies that you have won individually, whether you're a member of the staff or whether you're a player or whether you're a coach, is recognized. So they're all different. It's an exciting process. It's one of those things that we will all take the pressure of this one if we get to design a Super Bowl ring. I mean, this thing is a massive piece of championship jewelry, and you need to see that. You need to feel that. You need to see the weight of it. It's 132 grams of gold. It's enormous. We're sourcing pieces from all over the world. So diamonds and rubies, gold, we mine and we have it here in the States. And those things all come together in our facility to make this jewelry piece. There's about 40 individual people who at one time or another will touch this ring before it gets put in a box, put in an armored car and sent down here to Kansas City. I think it really puts a stamp on this era of Chiefs football. I think it's one that my dad would be so proud of. That's pretty fantastic. It's a beautiful trophy. I want to say especially a thanks to the people of Kansas City. This trophy really belongs to them too, as well as the organization. 
He always thought about the Chiefs in the context of our fans. Everywhere I go and see our fans, they are so excited and so fired up about this football team. And I think that's something that he would just love. Everyone likes to use the cliche, the sky's the limit. You know, I don't think there's a limit on this team. Hey, boy. Mm, bro. Y'all crazy, bro. Y'all just got here. This is the first mini. You look at the unique combinations that we have, and then you look at the young nucleus of players who are playing really prominent roles. In our minds, we were nowhere near done. I don't want to use the dynasty word quite yet, but it certainly shows that this is a very special team. So it's going to be fun in 10 years to be able to look back and see what this group of players and coaches was ultimately able to achieve.